Hi, my name is Aviva Abrams and I'm the owner of Aviva Pilates Studio in Miami Design District. Thank you so much for joining us for our in-home fitness workout program due to the coronavirus. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and staying fit with these workouts. So we're going to begin laying on our backs today. Once you lay on your back, you're going to reach the toes long, arms are going to reach long, fingertips lengthen, toes lengthen. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. Again, in through your nose, setting this Pilates breath in motion, then blowing out through your mouth, squeezing the ribs together and in. One more breath. Excellent, then we're gonna hug the right knee into your chest, roll the shoulders back and down as you hug the knee in, just warming up that hip. Good, and then we're gonna switch to the left side, Bring the left knee in, belly button pulls in, take a nice deep breath. Good, then bring both knees into the chest. You're gonna hug them nice and tight. Shoulders down, chin is down. Good. Then take the hands on the knees and you're gonna circle the knees around your body. Inhale and exhale. Good, two more. One more, navel pulling in, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Reverse your direction. One more. Good, now you're gonna take one hand on each knee and you're gonna open them and circle them individually, allowing those hips to release from the inside out. Good, you should also feel a nice release in your lower back called your sacrum. Good, then reverse the direction. Inhale and exhale. Excellent, one more. Perfect. And then we're gonna begin with our feet flat into the mat, toes and heels in a nice straight line. You're gonna start with your neutral spine and then on your exhale, you're gonna gently just pelvic tuck. Inhale, find neutral. We're gonna go for four. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, three, two, one more. Excellent. And then we're gonna stabilize those hips in neutral and now we're gonna warm up the upper abs. You're gonna take your inhale to prepare. Then on your exhale, nodding the chin down, we're gonna curl up for what we call our ab prep. We're gonna inhale to hold and exhale slowly lower. Inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, slowly curling up, pulling the navel in. Inhale to hold and exhale as you lower. Inhale, nod the chin. Exhale through your mouth as you curl up. Inhale to hold and exhale as you lower. One more, inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, curl up. Now we're gonna hold here and add some pulses with the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 10. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 30. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower down. So that's getting us ready for our Pilates 100s. So we're gonna build on that arm positioning, but we're gonna do that for 10 full sets. But as we do that, we're gonna move into that same pelvic tuck. Good. Now holding that pelvic tuck, we're gonna slowly take our inhale to prepare. Exhale, curl and lift the upper body. Now see if you can lift a little higher. Now we're gonna do the same thing for 10 full sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 10. Inhale, and exhale, 20. Inhale, and exhale, 30. Inhale, and exhale, 40. Inhale, and exhale, 50. Inhale, and exhale, 60. Inhale, and exhale, 70. Inhale, and exhale, 80, inhale, and exhale, 90, inhale, and exhale, 100, curl up just a little more, and slowly lower down with control. Excellent, feel free to turn the head gently side to side to relax the neck, good. Now, building on that, we're gonna keep that imprint position. We're gonna keep the abs nice and engaged. We're gonna exhale, bring one leg to tabletop, inhale, slowly lower, now the second leg, exhale, Inhale, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Now as you blow out, you don't want those hips to shift at all as you weight change with your legs. Exhale through your mouth. 
Inhale through your nose, exhale. Inhale, we're gonna go for three, good. Two more. Last set. Excellent, then on the last one, hold the right leg, engage and lift the left leg. Now holding here, we're gonna keep this flat back. We're gonna exhale, reach the right toes just a little bit. Inhale, come back. We call this a reach. Exhale, inhale. So you're challenging that imprint position by reaching through the toes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, navel pulls in. Good, two more. One more. Now bring the legs together, hold the legs together. Now as you hold the legs together, I want you to make one leg. So I want you to squeeze them as tight as you can. We're gonna add little pulses of the inner thighs and the glutes. So you're gonna exhale, squeeze, squeeze. So you're tightening the thighs, tightening the glutes, tightening the abs. Exhale, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, deep connection, three, two, one more, hold that. Now you're gonna do the same toe reach with both legs. Your movement should be a little smaller. Exhale, inhale, because the weight of the legs. Exhale, inhale, don't let the abs pop. Good, go for six. Five, four, three, two more. One more, excellent. Now holding the legs in table, we're gonna reverse that movement. Little pulls in the knees, exhale in and in. Just a small tuck of the tailbone, curling in towards the body, nice and smooth. Exhale, good, we have eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, Two, one more, excellent. Now holding that strong tabletop position, we're gonna bring the arms into our T position. Palms down, shoulders wide. Keep the shoulders and head still, just the knees. You're gonna inhale over to the right. Exhale, find center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, four more. So it's inhale, exhale, three, Now from there, we're gonna palms behind the crown of the head. Once you interlace the palms behind the crown, exhale, curl and lift your upper body, buttoning the navel in. Now holding your right you reach the legs long. Inhale, bring it in. This is called double leg stretch. Now you can keep the hands behind the head or you can add the arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, navel pulls in, we have four, three, two, one more. Take the hands back. Now you can do this exactly opposite with the breathing to challenge those abs. So now I want you to inhale, reach, exhale, return. Inhale, exhale. Notice how it feels a little different, maybe a little harder to inhale, reach, exhale, scoop back, four, Three, two, one more. Excellent, hug the knees in, lower and take a rester. Nice job. Good, now from here, you're gonna bring those legs back into that strong tabletop position. We can start with the hands behind the head as you exhale, curl the body up. Now we're gonna go into our single leg stretch, reaching left leg, then right leg. Now you can keep the hands again underneath the head. Exhale, 
or you can add the arm choreography. Outside hand to the ankle, inside hand to the knee. Inhale, exhale. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Last set. And then hug the knees in lower and rest. Take a nice deep breath. Once you take a nice deep breath, we're gonna start with the palms flat to the mat. We're gonna reach the legs straight to the ceiling. Keeping the legs long, shoulders wide, squeezing those inner thighs. We're gonna start a nice circle to the right, down and around. Inhale, and then exhale, left down and around. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Maintaining that imprint position. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Good, try to keep the legs as straight as possible, but if you need to modify and bend the knees, that's okay. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more. <sighs> Two more. Last set. Excellent, then hug the knees in and take a resting breath. Excellent, so now we're gonna plant the feet back to the mat, arms by our sides, and we're gonna go into our shoulder bridge. So you're gonna take your exhale, you're gonna roll the hips one vertebrae at a time, inhale at the top, then exhale, slowly roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, exhale, roll all the way up, Inhale at the top, and exhale, slowly roll it down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale at the top, engaging the glutes, and exhale, sequentially rolling back down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna hold here, finding your core balance. We're gonna bring the legs into that table position. Exhale, right leg, inhale, lower. Exhale, left leg, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last set. Take your inhale and exhale. Slowly roll it down. Excellent, take a nice deep breath. Then on your exhale, we're gonna roll right back up. This time, pull the navel in a little deeper and we're gonna add some more choreography. You're gonna inhale, bring the knee to table. Exhale, reach it long. Inhale in. Exhale out, keeping those hips nice and still. We have six, five, four, three, two, one more. Excellent, bend the knee, slowly plant it back, find your balance, left knee in, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale. Two more, one more, excellent, bend the knee, slowly lower, take your inhale, exhale, slowly roll it down with control. One more set, inhale, exhale, roll it up, take your inhale as you bring right leg up. Now this time right leg straight to the ceiling, lower and lift, flex and point, exhale, inhale. Remember, you can always repeat the first one if this feels too challenging for you. Inhale, exhale, four, three, two, one more. Bend the knee, plant the foot, find your balance. Inhale, bring it straight up, exhale, lower. Inhale, point, exhale, flex.
four more, three, two, one more. Excellent, bend the knee, slowly lower. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it down. Nice job, hug the knees into the chest, gently rock side to side. Excellent. From here, you're gonna straighten the legs back, squeezing them together. We're gonna get ready to go into our roll up. So we're gonna inhale, reach the arms from over the head to 90 degrees, power in the arms, nodding the chin, Exhale, slowly rolling up, articulating one vertebrae at a time. As you reach over the legs, take your inhale. Then exhale, slowly rolling through the imprint, tucking the hips, try to keep the legs nice and rooted. And then reaching the arms over the head, squeezing the ribs together and in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, nodding the chin, squeezing the abs, rounding through the spine. Take your inhale in this full flexion. And then exhale, slowly rolling down, squeeze the inner thighs, press down into the feet to help stabilize you. And then inhale, bring the arms back up to 90. Exhale. Take your inhale. And exhale, slowly rolling all the way back down, gently with control. One more, we're gonna stay up there. Inhale, exhale. Take that inhale. And then on your exhale, we're gonna stack nice and tall. From here, we're gonna bring the arms into our T position, keeping the arms nice and lifted. We're gonna start our rotation. You're gonna inhale center, we're gonna go to the right. Exhale, one, two, Three, inhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Notice how my feet don't move. My hips stay nice and still. Now, if this is too much to keep the legs straight, you can always cross at the ankles and sit cross-legged. Keep the arms strong. Zipping the abs in as you reach. Last two. One more. Excellent, and relax the arms. Good, so we just did a rotation. Now we're gonna do a flexed rotation. So we're gonna slowly bend the knees. We're gonna take our inhale, reaching the arms straight forward, shoulders pulling back. Now we're gonna round halfway back to the right as we reach the right arm out. So exhale, reach, inhale, return. Exhale, inhale. Now when you roll back, I want you to have power between both arms as you reach, navel in, and then return. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Four more. Last set. Nice. Bring it in and rest. Perfect. Let's just give ourselves a little shoulder stretch for a moment. Perfect. And now we're gonna make our way to laying on our stomach for some back extension work. So once you come to laying on your stomach, you're gonna plant the hands. Now once you plant the hands, you're gonna slide your shoulders down. You're gonna allow the forehead to rest right onto the hands. Now once you have the forehead rested, we're gonna start with our frog leg position. So that means your knees are as wide as your shoulders, your heels are together, toes are apart in the Pilates V. Squeezing into the glutes, we're gonna slowly exhale, lift the knees, inhale, lower. Now each time you lift the knees, keep the glutes engaged. So I don't want you to relax the glutes, the butt muscles, as you lift the knees. I want them to stay constantly engaged for each one you lift until you finish your full set. We're gonna go for eight. Navel pulls in and up, seven. Keep the hips nice and pressed into the mat. Five more, four, 
three. Make sure the neck and shoulders stay relaxed. Two more. One more. Hold the knees. Little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and still. Ten seconds. Excellent. Slowly lower and rest. Just gently shake those hips out. Good. Now we're going to slide the legs together, squeezing the inner thigh, squeezing the glutes. We're going to lift the upper body. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Notice when you lift, the shoulders pull into the back. Good. The neck stays long, so your forehead stays attached to the hands. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one more. Excellent. We're going to lift, hold, reach the arms straight into a T position, or I call this actually V position, and then bend into your W. So inhale to the corners, exhale, pull back. Inhale, exhale. As you pull the elbows in, I want you to feel the lats and the waist. Inhale, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Hold little pulses of the trunk of the body up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Plant the hands. Slowly press yourself up. Once you come up, we're going to do a nice round cat stretch to reverse the work we just did. <sighs> Pulling the navel into the spine, tucking the hips, engaging the glutes. And then reverse it. Inhale, lift the chin, stick the tail up, squeeze the abs. Again, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. One more. Excellent. Then from here, we're going to do some push-ups on our hands and on the knees. So we're going to walk the knees back, knees together. You're going to press the hips forward. Good. And actually, I'm going to adjust my hands a little closer into my body. Good. Now from here, shoulders pull wide. We're going to keep the elbows close to the body for the first set. So inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Elbows pull into the waist. Eight more. Seven. Six, squeeze the glutes and under thighs. Five, four, three, two more, one more. Excellent. Sit back into a child's pose. Spreading the knees, dropping the chest, squeezing the abs. Good, and then come back up. We're gonna do one more set with the hands wider than our mat, so that way we can bend the elbows wide into our goal pose position. So hips forward, neck long. Inhale, bend, exhale up. Two more. One more. Excellent. Stretch back. Perfect. Then from here, we're going to make our way back up to seated as we get ready to conclude our practice with our mermaid stretch. So we're going to start with the left shin off to the side, right foot tucks in, sitting tall. You're going to inhale, take the left arm, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, then the right arm. Think about elongating the spine, creating space and length in the body. Focusing on the breathing. Good. Keeping the alignment. Excellent. Now we're going to switch sides with the legs. Now sitting up tall, right arm. Left arm. One more on each arm. Good. And then we're just going to have the legs crossed. You're going to interlace the palms. 
take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms. Then on your exhale, just fold the crown of the head, reaching the arms over. Take a couple breaths. Good, then I want you to slowly stack up tall. Good, plant the hands on the knees, roll the shoulders around. Just give yourself a nice head circle. So you're gonna go to the right, down and around. And then reverse it. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Leave me a comment. I'd love to have your feedback. Like the video and definitely subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to work out with us live in our virtual sessions, send me an email at aviva at avivapilates.com. I hope you're doing well and have a wonderful day.